do my hair toss, check my nails, baby how you feeling? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we'll be doing an IT inspired Halloween set. And I did keep in the fill and prep in this one. The filing I do believe I did off video but everything else I did keep in because I did get some requests previously to show the whole process so we're going to do that and of course the Dappen dish that you see here was provided to me by Dappen Diamonds and you can get yours from DappenDiamond.com and I will put the link down below in the description box. Because this set was already done as a um, baby boomer or ombre set, I am keeping with that for the fills. So I am filling with the pink here and then I'm going to polish over it for the set. And I'm not worried about how um, even it is right now because this is not going to be the strength layer. I'm still going to put clear over it and once I have everything set, then you will no longer see the bumps. I'm going to be adding polish to some of these and also going to be capping them in clear, going to be putting decals down. So there are certain areas where I do want it to be flatter than others until the final capping is completed. When I am doing a set or doing a fill-in, I always make sure that the bead closest to the cuticle or the fill bead is going to be drier than what I would normally use only because this keeps it from flooding the cuticles. You definitely don't want to do that. When you start flooding the cuticles then it makes cleanup a lot more difficult but it can also cause lifting. So as you see I'm able to just press it down and swipe it up to blend it and um, there's no flooding or anything. It stays exactly where I want it to be and the process is pretty fast and cleanup is very minimal. So now I'm going to let you continue watching the fill-in and then watch the buffing and filing and I'll come back when we start doing the polishing and design. <laughs> that was short-lived. I lied. I'm back now only to let you know that I'm capping it after I uh, did the fill-in. I'm capping it with the Young Nails um, Core Clear Powder. And um, I forgot to mention that the brush that I'm using is a size 10 Kalinsky acrylic brush. 
I did show the brand and um, the packaging when I did one of my unboxings and I'll try to include that in a card at the top of this but if not just look for my uh, my haul and unboxing videos and I believe it was my last one while we're at the beginning of our video go ahead and comment down below and tell me what your favorite Halloween or scary movie is I'm interested to see what everybody likes watching this time of year And I know somebody will probably mention that this finger here, the acrylic is uneven on the top and this is for a good cause. I actually, um, you'll see when I'm doing the design that this one here, um, the stiletto nail I did dripping blood on and I wanted it to be flushed once I added the top coat and not raised. So you'll see that. So now we're going to start the design. I'm starting with white polish on the stiletto nail. So I'm going to be adding a couple coats of the white and then I'm going to add a matte top coat before I actually add the design because I want there to be a definition. And so the nail itself is going to be matte, but the dripping blood that I'm adding 
is going to be glossy. This is Fairy Glow White Gel Polish, and it isn't the best polish that I have, which is why I'm having to add several coats to it. But it is my thinnest gel polish that is white, so that's why I'm adding this one and not the others. Only because I will be adding a design over it, so I appreciate the thinness of it when I am doing something like that. So now I'm adding the matte top coat and then we're going to cure it so that we can start the design. So I'm going to be using a dark red glitter polish and I am using my dotting tool just to get the, um, the streaks for the blood. And then I'm going to come in with my detail brush. It's a very fine paintbrush. This is not one for nails. It's one that I actually got for painting. And um, I'm going to come in and fill it in. And then I'm going to be adding some more blood droplets with the dotting tool. I find that this way works the best. When I add it with the dotting tool, it actually adds like a definition to the blood drops instead of it just being painted there. So it actually looks like it's dropping. Now I'm using my detail brush and I'm just going over the blood droplets with a glossy top coat and then we'll cure it and I'll move on to the rest of the fingers.
Now we're adding white polish to the pointer finger and then we're going to add one of the blue velvet color change polishes to a few of the other fingers. So we'll go through that and then when we get to the next step, I'll come back on and tell you what I'm doing. Now we're going to be adding some decals to a few of the fingers and the decals that we're using today are from Culture Addicts. Culture Addicts can be find, found at cultureaddicts.com. You can also find the link to their Instagram and website down in the description box. They've provided these decals to sponsor this video today too. Once we add the decal and smooth it out, it's important to top coat it immediately so that the decal doesn't tear, rip, slide, or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing and I'm using my favorite top coat. This is my um, Le Chat Perfect Match and it does come with both a polish and a gel top coat. It's the same as D&D as far as the concept and coming with a gel and regular polish, um, but I just happen to prefer Le Chat better than D&D for some reason. Now we're coming in with the same color change gel polish from Blue Velvet and we're going to paint the pinky. These two color change uh, fingers are also going to have decals on them which you'll see. Um, we were just trying to decide which ones to put on what finger and that's why we kind of waited to even polish this one because she was indecisive if she wanted this finger to be color changed as well or if she wanted it to be white and what decals we were adding to each finger so you'll see us adding those decals soon so I've explained in previous videos how I do my decals I always slide them onto my stamper first it allows it to get in the best position possible and as you see decals are very forgiving as long as you keep them a little bit wet you can generally slide them or pull them up until you cap them and this is why it is very important to add the gel polish to that finger as soon as the decal is laid because they they are very vulnerable. Added the two decals and then we capped it with the top coat um, glossy gel polish from Le Chat and then you'll see the finished product in just a moment.
she didn't know exactly what she wanted to do for the thumb so we did wait for last and in the end she just decided that the thumb was going to be just plain and color change so that's what I'm doing just adding the color change polish and then we'll be on our merry way and you'll see the pictures of the end result. And here we have it, the final result. These were super fun to make. The color change is, it just gives it a different effect to it, especially with it being Halloween. And here you go. I hope that you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed doing this set for you. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks again for watching. See y'all later. Bye.